What's up, y'all? It's QL Beats. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Today we have a special, 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 special one for y'all. It's special to me because it's like, it represents our city, Washington, D.C. So here it goes. Shot Glizzy get DJ Q Hill to send his single to Lil Wayne's tour DJ. And guess what? That got played at Drake. What is it? Lil Wayne versus Drake concert. Let's go. Shout out to DJ45. Um, he's really an OG in the game. DJ45 DJ is, he from New York, I think. He from New York or New Jersey. One of the two. He from up top, though. Um, He uh, really, really was a, a, a good mentor towards me when it came to DJing and when it came to helping me out on the business side of, of music as well. Uh, DJ45 really uh, put me on to a lot. I really appreciate him. But the, but the most thing that he ever did that helped change my life or the course of my life was when he s called me up and said, yo, Q, I'm about to be in town with Lil Wayne and Drake. Um, who's the hottest artist in your area? Send me some records. So he did that. As soon as he called me, I called around. I was like, yo, who can I get? Who can I send him? You know what I'm saying? I'm going crazy in my head like, dang, let me send him um, Shy. Let me send him Fat Trail. Let me send him Big Boy. Uh, just a lot of different artists that I had in mind that I sent to him. Out of the selection, he chose Shy Glizzy. I'm so awesome, which is crazy because it was, it, was, it was popping on the radio at the time, too, in the area. But for him to pick it during that time period was a great time period because it's like, it was that album Law 3? That was the album Law 3 that came out. So he let me know that that's the, that's the record he chose. So mind you, he's on the tour bus with Lil Wayne playing, this, playing these records, right? On the tour bus, you have Lil Wayne, you got 2 Chains, you got, you know, certain people on, the, on that tour bus at that time. So they chose that record to play at the concert. So that's how that that one goes. That's kind of like if it wasn't for DJ45 reaching out to me, I don't think I would have had the opportunity to put myself in a position to reach out to Shy and to reach out to Benny to let them know, like, yo, the game, about, we about, it's about to be a big game changer. How can I forget my man D-Mac? Because if it wasn't for my man D-Mac, he an artist who actually did a song with Shy Glizzy. Um, if I wasn't DJing for D-Mac, opening in, we was opening up for Shy for um, one of um, Benny's um, concerts. So I was DJing for D-Mac at the time. That's when I actually ran into DJ Flo. I, I got introduced to DJ Flo. Um, that's how we got together and, and, and started locking it. Um, but really, it was like, if it wasn't for D-Mac, being on the show, I probably would have never met Benny. I probably would never met Shy. I probably never been doing none of those concerts because D Mac always had booked me to DJ for all his shows with um, Shy. So that's really how that really got tied. And shout out to D Mac, uh, my good Merlin man. He definitely um, looked out for a young DC brother trying to come up in the game for real. Got to play the song. So first, this is how he did it. He played sexy ladies. He played that rock, that good old UCB rock, Mikey. Give me your number, girl. So look, he played that song. So he played that song. The crowd going crazy. I mean, the crowd going crazy. Cause you know the whole DMV love UCB. Crowd going crazy. Make sure y'all follow UCB and Rock Mikey. They new journey is amazing. Uptown, run the town for real. Look, um. So he played that. So after DJ45 played the UCB, then he played Shy, I'm So Awesome. All I heard was doom, doom. Once you hear that intro, man, you heard Swish. The whole crowd said Swish. I'm like, get out of here. It was like, it was crazy. Because it was an experience of a lifetime for me to hear somebody from my from my um city 
get a reaction like that. <clears throat> Getting a reaction like that from a, from a crowd for Lil Wayne and Drake. That was crazy. They they said every word, Swish. Um, I'm so, uh, y'all know how the song go. That's, it was crazy. Like, I thought it was his concert, the way that the crowd was reacting. But I really appreciated that because it was a moment for me. It was a moment for Shy. It was a moment for Benny to realize, like, wow, they got a record. And then it was like, and I'm looking at it like, damn, for me, it's like, damn, I was able to put this record in a position to get a different light amongst a crowd with A-list artists, which is Drake and Lil Wayne. So they crowd was rocking to it. So you already know if they crowd love it, the world going to love it. So that's how I looked at it. It was it was it was a, it was one up for the for for the city. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Push paying it forward, taking it, pushing the envelope. That's how we gotta do it. You know, network is your network for real. Shout out to Benny, Benny T, Benny T. That shy that shy Glizzy old manager. I don't know if they still. I don't, I don't really know the relationship right now, but I just know the relationship then was tight. Um, Benny was a promoter. Promoted the big clubs in DC. He, he threw his own shows with Shy. Um, that's how I really got tied in with because of Benny. Like he was throwing them shows. Like if he wasn't throwing them shows, I would never had the opportunity to um, to DJ or to even get Benny number at that time. You know what I'm saying? And that's really how that got got locked in. Like if I didn't have Benny contact, we wouldn't have even in line to let him know that that was going on, that was happening, and that really kind of shook up. That kind of that 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 made some things shake in the rooms when you negotiate, but um, yeah, that's really the relationship between me and Benny. Like, if, if he ain't, wasn't throwing concerts at Howard Theater, feel more like the stuff he was doing, I would never even got to you know have connection with him. Your network is your net worth for sure. Yeah. Yeah.